Welcome to Gallery Sport Cars. Please subscribe and enjoy to watching video. Back at the LA Auto Show, there's a bright orange 2019 Corvette CR1 convertible on a show stand, glimmering under the lights, being ogled by admirers and measured by competitors. Just over 100 miles away, at the oldest permanent road course in the U.S., at the western edge of the Mojave Desert, to beat up the R1 Coots wait in a pit garage. They're guilty, with a couple of vehicle lifetimes between them. One is covered turn to snout and stick on swirly camera flop, roughly applied, with bits of a bright red paint showing beneath. The 755 horsepower small blocks, force federal with massive superchargers, quake to life. Resonating off the garages, they almost sound unrestricted, but without the teeth gripping resonance you get when you straight pipe a thing like this. I turn to tap to echo, proud father of unreasonably quick Chevrolet, and ask if the cars here today are competition exhaust or something. Hearing pulls his nose a bit. Nope, these are the stock pipes. Street legal. The ZR1 is a few decibels louder than the V06, he says. To call this an understatement is generous. This is the loudest Corvette the company has ever made. Heat, while great for tires, was a butt bear for the V06. The ZR1 attempts to address this with a full 13 radiators on automatic cars including your new front auxiliary coolers, in order to reduce temps. There's a new laid down transmission cooler up front, so overall there's a ton of piping going forward and back from the transaxle and differential. Du Ecker claims the automatic isn't itself to blame for the prior heating woes explaining that the auto can pull dress higher than the manual, which causes higher underhood and intake air temps that could overwhelm the previous cars. The Z06S fixes included a new hood and more vents, but the ZR1S heat management system was validated to a higher level to prevent this issue in the first place, at 100 degrees with a full tank, versus 86 degrees and less fuel for the Z06. Will it help? It's too early to tell, but based on the time to extra spend on cooling, it's a sore spot and we wouldn't bet against it. Speaking of pulleys, compare the Lieutenant 4 and the Lieutenant 5, and you'll instantly realize that there's potential for a smaller pulley to increase the Lieutenant 5's output even more. You ever senses what we're all thinking. I want you to be sure that an overdrive pulley will void the warranty, he says, laughing a bit. He knows folks will still do it, but he won't guarantee what'll happen after that. The car will already run a quarter in the high temp, and tops out at an SA certified 212.48 miles per hour, but good enough has never been good enough. On track at Willow, it doesn't seem like the ZR1 needs any more power to keep its driver occupied. Tung's work has given him an abrupt, edgy driving style that unsettles the ZR1 a bit as it unwaves coming downhill at certain points, but not quite to the point of four-wheel drifting. It's fascinating to see how someone who knows the car intimately, both theoretically and practically, makes it move. The ZR1 responds well to the rough treatment, but these are expert hands with hundreds or thousands of hours of seat time in the car. And a lot of the credit goes to the Michelin, which despite their expense has truly remarkable grip, and, you ever says, surprising real-world treadwear. Even more goes to the carbon ceramic brakes, which are simply ferocious. They're similar to the V06S Brembos, but with extra heat treatment and high temperature pad compound. But for every stab of the brakes, Tug hammers on the gas just as quickly. We blast for a second or so up a very short straight at the top of the balcony before hauling down again and heading downhill. The ability to call up positive and negative GS like this with just the dance on the pedals is mightily impressive. If you think an extra 105 HP and 65 pounds feet would turn the C7V06 into an unredeemable mess, think again. The ZR1 can put down the power, and it corner just like an angrier Z06. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Gallery Sport Cars.